An approximate theory of water coning in petroleum production. Knowledge of the coning phenomenon has been known for at least 88 years. Water or gas coning. Coning is a production problem in which gas cap gas or bottom water infiltrates the perforation zone in the near rail bar area and reduces oil production. Coning is a rate sensitive phenomenon generally associated with high producing rates. Strictly a near well bore phenomenon, it only develops once the pressure forces drawing fluids towards the well bore overcome the natural forces that segregate gas and water from oil. Coning. If you imagine the oil in the figure to the right flowing towards the well bore, you can understand that with the production of water, the oil flow to the well bore is simply blocked by the water cone. Ideal conditions at the well bore, coning strategies. Under ideal conditions, in which no coning exists, flow is principally horizontal and mainly oil is produced. The figure at right illustrates a producing well with no coning. These conditions illustrated can be achieved by producing at a reduced production rate, which can be achieved by a slower pumping speed, a shorter pumping stroke, smaller pumping unit, valve opened less on a flowing well. In the case of a water drive reservoir, water production will make the fluid in the tubing heavier and re can reduce surface tubing pressure to such an extent that artificial lift will be required even though the reservoir pressure might be maintained at relatively high level. Bottom water can be pulled into a well by excessive producing rates. This may occur in either an oil or gas well. The production, the problem is called coning and is indicated by increasing water oil ratio as flow rates are increased. It can generally be improved by reducing the production rate. Morse Muscat was an American petroleum engineer. Muscat was born in 1906 in Riga in the Russian Empire. He came to the United States with his family in 1911 and became an American citizen in 1914. Muscat attended Marietta College and Ohio State University, then taught physics at Bowling Green University. He earned his doctorate in physics from the California Institute of Technology in 1929. After graduating from Caltech, Muscat joined Gulf Research and Development Company where he started as a research engineer. He then worked his way up to get the position uh, as chief of the physics division. A position he held until 1951. He took a one-year leave from Gulf during World War II to serve as chief of acoustics, the acoustics division of the Naval Ordnance Laboratory. In 1951, he became technical coordinator of the production department, Gulf Oil Corporation in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Dr. Muscat served as the vice chairman of the petroleum branch of AIME, now the Society of Petroleum Engineers. 
1961, he was promoted to technical advisor to the executive group of Gulf Oil, a position he held until his retirement in 1971. Muscat received many honors, including the American Petroleum Institute's Certificate of Appreciation, 1965, and Special Scroll, 1971. The Society of Petroleum Engineers Lester C. Urine Award, 1969. The American Institute of Mining, Metallurgical, and Petroleum Engineers Lucas Medal, 1953 an honorary life membership 1972 membership in the national academy of engineering in 1983 and caltech's alumni distinguished service award 1987 he also has 15 u.s patents in various fields of science and engineering ralph dewey wyckoff was a pioneer in exploration, geophysics, and petroleum production, was born in Jacobsville, Michigan, December 10, 1897. R.D. Wyckoff received his B.S. in electrical engineering at Michigan State College in 1920. Following his graduation, he served briefly as an instructor in electrical engineering at Michigan State College. In 1925, Wyckoff joined Marland Oil Company and became an important member of what is believed to have been the first geophysical department to be established by an oil company. He was editor of Geophysics from 1939 through 1942. In 1965, Wyckoff won the Anthony Lucas Gold Medal Award of the American Institute of Mining, Metallurgical, and Petroleum Engineers for his achievements in improving techniques and practice of finding and producing petroleum. In 1966, the SCG elected him to honorary membership. In 1971, he was named a distinguished alumnus of Michigan State University. Wyckoff's list of services to the profession and to the industry is extensive. Vice President of SCG in 1942-43 and President during 43 and 44. He was a member and chairman of the SCG Radio Facilities Committee for many years. He was also chairman of the API Radio Committee and contributed importantly to the report that convinced the Federal Communications Commission that the oil industry had justifiable requirements for allocations of it in the frequency spectrum. In 1958, he served as the SCG representative on the National Research Council of the National Academy of Sciences. An approximate theory of water coning and oil production by M. Muscat and R. D. Wyckoff, Tulsa meeting, October 1934. The phenomenon called water coning is that observed in many oil wells in which bottom water gradually and frequently suddenly displaces a part or all of the oil production when a certain rather critical production rate from the well is exceeded. This is the actual uh, part of the first page of the actual article that ran in the uh, uh, journal in 1935. The American Institute of Mining, Metallurgical, and Petroleum Engineers founded in 1871. What is incredibly interesting to students of the coning phenomenon 
is the publication of an article entitled An Approximate Theory of Water Coning and Oil Wells by Muscat and Wyckoff in the Volume 114, Issue 1, December 1935 issue of Transactions of the American Institute of Mining and Metallurgical Engineers. This journal later became the SPC, SPE, Society of Petroleum Engineers. The Society of Petroleum Engineers is for members engaging in oil and gas exploration and production, providing resources for technical knowledge. SEG, the Society of Exploration Geophysicists, was founded in 1930 by 30 men and women who felt that the use of geophysical technology for petroleum exploration had matured to the point that a professional society was needed to facilitate the transfer of technical knowledge. The, study, the society started its own journal, Geophysics, in 1936. Membership grew significantly in the late 1930s and early 1940s, and this required hiring a permanent staff to conduct the society's day-to-day -day operations. As a result, a business office was opened in Tulsa. Transactions of the AIME is a monthly publication put out by the, published by the AIME, and uh, you can find the actual article online in a PDF format by Muscat and Wyckoff by visiting An Approximate Theory of Water Coning and Oil Production, Transactions of the AIME, 1 Petro.